You know what I like? Birds. Nature is not kind to birds. It is not fair. It is not just. Why? Because nature never gave birds the one thing they need. The one thing they could use to fulfill their feathered potential. Opposable thumbs. This is where Death's Door comes in. If there was one thing I could say about Death's Door, it is that it is the game that dared, it dared to dream in a way none, asterisk, have dared before it by daring to ask, what if birds had opposable thumbs? Death's Door is the game that did. It did give the birds opposable thumbs. It gave this bird opposable thumbs. This bird, let me tell you, this bird knows what opposable thumbs are for. Thumbs are for wielding horrifying bladed weapons of destruction, for sowing death in those who refuse to accept their passage to the next world, and of course, for term wars with the friends we've made along the way. One of those friends is death. The entity, not the abstract idea. Opposable thumbs are nature's cheat button, and this thumb, my friends, knows where to stick them. And the answer, of course, is safely around the hilt of this bird's weapon, tucked behind its other fingers. Get your heads out of the gutter, you degenerates! Yes, friends, Bird's Door leads to possibilities like none you've ever seen. I played the game two and a half years ago, and I don't remember most of it. But I know that they are there, the possibilities, and I know that they are owed to the one big decision. Giving a bird opposable thumbs. Death's Bird is also the game that infuriated me for its boss design, which, while excellent and delightful and worth the price of admission on its lonesome, also had Betty. Oh, how I hate that. By my word, Betty, you will meet your maker! Come on! The Wind Up Death's Door is one of those games that drew inspiration from the wonderfully forbidding and rage inducing souls likes that are all the hype to this day. Its gameplay reflects that insofar as dying and using doors to return to your base will resurrect vanquished foes. The challenging boss design that expects you to learn from every failure is also informed by the genre defined by From Software's games. I'll remember Mr. Popper's Death's Door for several other elements, chiefly the Metroidvania-esque exploration which saw me retreading familiar ground after unlocking new items and abilities in order to open up destinations I hadn't had access to previously. It's good world and level design. I like to think I learned a thing or two. There are several different environs found across the expanse of this colourful isometric adventure game, suggested a world that had experienced its fair share of cataclysms. The moment I came across friendly life forms had a special significance and hinted at a more tranquil past for this in-between place. The same can be said of the bosses, most of whom can be viewed through the prism of corruption. Grandma, the Witch of Urn, struck a chord with me. She was not the only one. Desire's corruptive touch made the old broad the most memorable fight of the lot for me. Which more old women went down the way of seeking immortality if only so that I can watch a crow set off on them with all the tools of the trade. Add to all that David Fenn's magical hour and 43 minute long soundtrack and you have got something of significance here. And the riff on Trump was hilarious as well. Plenty of reasons to remember Death's Door with fondness. 
They make up a whole bunch of the reasons to play this game if you've been snoozing on it. Still, more than anything else. I'll remember this game for doing what all other games are too cowardly to do. Giving birds opposable thumbs. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with all your bird-loving friends. And also, leave me a comment down below. Have you played Death's Door? What did you think of it? Too many birds? Too few? Well, you really cannot have too many birds, can you? At any rate, don't forget to share this video, like it, and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. I'm Philip Magnus. You're not. Bye!